Hello guys, good afternoon. So today, I'm gonna update you about the Ranger guys. So the last time I did a video, I was at Aninaw, Batangas. So now it's around siguro 1,008, below 2,000 kilometers yung car. And I'm gonna tell you how has it been, has there been any like uh, problems with the car? I know it's a new car, but sometimes guys, even new cars nowadays because of a lot of cars are how do you call it controlled by a computer like uh, uh ecu right uh things may happen especially if you do not use the car uh let's say in a week's time or even two weeks na you know nakapark lang sa condo or nakapark sa bahay nyo uh, pag start nyo ayaw mag start or na discharge or you left the lights on or something but things can happen so i'm gonna let you know kung Ano nangyari, if meron ba nangyari, and how's it been for me as a, a as a in in my own personal experience, because you know a lot of people have uh, written online about hate towards Ford uh, vehicles. Uh, just to let you know, I've had a f my first Ford car was in 2001, and that was the Ford Explorer, na sport car. Tapos, 2002, I had a Ford Expedition. So, these were my college cars. Alam ko malalaki. But back then, guys, kahit V6 or V8, medyo matipid. Ngayon, kasi mura para mang gas before. So, this was 2001, 2002. So, college days ko. Then, I had a 2006 Ford Focus uh, hatchback. Uh, MK2, 2-liter gas. I love that car. And it was passed on. Up to now, it's passed on to our long-time helper, si Fanny, who has been with us for around 30 years. So, nasa kanya yung kotse niya. Actually, I did the review of that. It's in my channel. Way, way back. COVID time, guys. So, yun. So, gusto ko gawin tong vlog na to, then update you guys. And, yeah. Let's, I'll see you in the parking lot. Okay, so guys, I'll put my bag first. Let's start the car up. Ah. Okay. Okay, guys, punta mo na ako sa isang car. So, actually, I'm gonna get some stuff sa Mazda. So, the Mazda's parked in another level. I'm gonna get something lang, then we're gonna drive. Uh, to uh, my girlfriend's village um, nearby lang naman oh, natin yung aircon so guys anyway I always leave the auto headlights on by the way yeah. always always why because uh, there are instances before I remember especially before when I used to share cars with you know my family with my my sister my dad sometimes their tendency that they they might leave the park light on and baka ma-discharge yung battery. Buti na lang ako knowing me uh, in, in the house before I used to check talaga in the garage every day. Halos every day I would check and just you know just check the car and see kung may you know leaks or whatever sa ilalim. Ganun ako ka particular sa kotse or kung may bagong gas gas like my sister she used to drive the car tapos makita ko nako may curb May curb, uh, no, uh, curb scratch sa mags na, sa rims. Pero ganun talaga, di ba? Hindi mo may iwasan yun. Um, especially, she's not a big girl. She's a small girl. So, sometimes maybe she cannot see. So, nagagas kasi yun sa sidewalk. Anyway, ito guys. So, of course, ito pag, like, here in the parking, pag, uh, it will change color, di ba? Magba-blackout siya. So, pag daylight, magiging white yung screen. Uh, some people have issues with this screen. Ako, personally, wala pa. Luckily. And even, guys, before, when I did travel for a week, and I didn't use the car for one week, when I started the car with no problems, yung wala naman gremlins na lumabas dito. Like, some, I've seen some. Baka kasi, baka lang, I'm not sure. Baka kasi naiwan, nakabukas yung ilaw or what. Uh, that's why na discharge Kasi ako, one week, guys, hindi ko na... Sometimes over one week, a week and a half, let's say. Uh, hindi ko nagagamit yung car. Or even Andrea doesn't use the car. 
Uh, that's why we switch cars so we could use every car. Para hindi mag discharge Kasi bago yung cars eh, diba? Kailangan talaga gamitin. Kahit dito lang naman sa city city lang. But I've been, I've been using this car. Pag uh, long trips, we use this car. We love using this car going to Clark, Subic, or Baguio. Tagaytay, ganun. Mga short uh, drives lang. Well, Baguio is not naman short, but it's pretty fast now. Yan guys, everything's intact. Everything works well. Uh, sometimes I use the wireless charging. Sometimes I don't. I think... Yung wireless charging kasi is not as strong as when you plug it at sa type C mas pabilis. But if you're in an emergency and siguro if simultaneously let's say your partner uh, needs to ch uh, charge at the same time ikaw so you could use the wireless charging if your phone allows that, di ba? Yun guys. So tanggalin ko lang to. Then put the tayo sa taas. Kunin ko lang yung damit ko. Then I'll show you even the ilaw yung nilagay ko sa grill. There's still work after so many months. Which is good. E muro lang naman yun. I didn't change the grill to a Raptor grill like a lot of people do. Uh, I just wanted to just keep the grill and just put the amber lights. So, yun ito apat. Normally kasi tatlo yun eh. So, when you change the grill to the Ford Raptor grill. But I love this car, guys. The reason why also I chose the Wild Track instead of the Sport 4x4. I had the Sport 4x2 2023 black one. I sold and I regretted it. That's why I got uh, we got the wild track naman na yun, na 4 by 2 lang. I don't need the 4 by 4 And of course, uh, I prefer the 6-speed automatic instead of the 10-speed, to be honest with you. I think 6-speed is perfect for day-to-day. 10-speed -day. is good if you're gonna travel long distances, I guess. But that rarely happens in the Philippines, as you all know. Um, yeah. Okay naman, matipid for me, matipid guys I don't know with you uh, I've driven kasi cars that have big engines And and even the 2 liter uh, Cars na gas For me, matipid na yun. But of course, what more kung mga 1.5 Or 1.2 or 1.3 liter Na engine But it also depends on Who's in the car And who's You know, who's uh, Ano ba? Who's uh, driving the car how he drives the car diba? but for me matipid to for a pickup yun guys so it has oh yun pala 2000 kilometers exactly oh, a little over yeah so full tank release the parking brake guys maganda dito pag uh, sige on natin yan pag hindi ako naka let's say magdo drive ako diba yan D naka D siya that means ito, hindi naka-auto hold. But the reason why is because hindi ako naka-seatbelt. Pero pag naka-seatbelt na ako, like now, yeah, naka-auto hold na siya. I love that safety feature of this car. That's very good. It it basically reminds you to always wear the seatbelt. That goes for the Master 3 also, which I will show you in another vlog uh, about the Master 3 and its uh, features that I just discovered while driving the car. Like I said, I only had it for two weeks pa lang. And I'm still discovering the car. Yun guys, so let's go muna. And I'll see you later. Okay guys, so while I'm driving, uh, I'll explain to you if may nangyaring masama ba with this car after 2,000 kilometers and after what? I don't know how many months na rin. I think it's been 6 months, something like that. Uh, wala naman guys, that's my honest uh, owner's review. No issues with the car, never had any... Um, you know, problems with the battery or anything like that. Even the infotainment 
okay naman guys no issues at all and I'm very happy with it actually I love the screen can't get over how you know how nice and clear the screen is compared to the other cars that I had uh, not just the size of the screen but also the clarity of the screen uh, this one and the Mazda 3 really have uh, a really good infotainment um, you know uh, screen now, it's not just big but it's, it's easy to use just like when you use an iPod, iPad or Android uh, pad uh, madiri naman siya and I'm very very happy with it yun guys medyo traffic na yun dito sa BGC uh, as usual in this area it gets traffic especially near St. Luke's and SNR uh, kasi of the stoplight and yun yan. this is how I pass going to EDSA or going to Makati there's a bridge going to Jupiter and there's also yung pang ilalim going to EDSA yun guys so I'm very happy with this car uh that's why siguro I regretted that I sold the the first one uh and I should have not sold that one happy na ako dun sa sport na 4x2 guys eh uh, minimal lang naman yung difference nito at saka yun yung, yung gusto ko lang kasi auto hold nito uh before I thought it's a gimmick to be honest with you I remember when the first auto hold uh cars came out and uh I didn't really appreciate it. Siguro because I rarely went to the city. Lagi ako nasa Alabang, guys, where I used to live. And, uh, di ba, malapit lang naman, you know, from place to place, going to the mall or what. And then doing such stuff, going to the bank. And ngayon that I live in BGC, mas matraffic dito kasi marami kang dadaanan, like going to Eds or Makati. Stoplight to stoplight. And auto hold, I think, should be standard in every car. Kasi anyway, total, most cars man have elect uh, electronic parking brake. Um, but sana, all also have the auto hold function. Uh, yun lang. I think that's a great, and also in blind spot. Dito lang guys, malang blind spot. Sana they had more safety features for the 4x2 wild track uh, ranger. Uh, sana they had. But it's okay. I mean, I can live without because ang laki rin naman ng side mirror ng pickup na to, which is good. I love the fact that uh, the side mirrors are big uh, It's easy to drive guys Compared to the Nissan Terra that I sold recently Ang dali drive talaga ng Ranger or Everest For that matter um, Yeah uh, I rarely touch this uh, I, I don't use cruise control Rarely uh, Siguro pag tinatamad na talaga ako mag drive uh, And yeah I mean Everything's, you know, the windows I love Easy The buttons are easy to find And um, Yeah, everything that I put in this car I think Siguro guys, the only thing that I'll modify In the future lang Is kapag nag-wear na yung tires nito Kapag out of warranty na Siguro I'm gonna put rims and tires Yan ang ano gagawin ko But for now, hindi kailangan Kasi bago pa yung kotse Sayang yung gulong guys Sayang yung gulong I don't wanna you know, trade it in palu you know, lugi ka talaga if you're gonna trade in bags and tires sa any shop but as of now, I'm super happy the ride's good and it's super easy to maneuver, even girls have no problems driving this car yan guys, kagaya nito naka auto hold, matagal yung stoplight dito sa may Makati so yan guys, di ba comfortable I could rest my feet I could just relax Yan ang gusto ko sa auto hold guys So yan na green na See? So it's very practical I love it I love the Functionality of auto hold That's why siguro I didn't Didn't like the Nissan Terra guys Kasi walang auto hold e Malaking bagay yan sa akin talaga um, I don't care about um, Lane departure warning I really don't care about Uh Lane keep assist, even cross traffic alert. Di ko na kailangan yun eh. It's more of the, uh, it's more of the ano talaga guys, auto hold. I know it's a small feature to have, but I love it. And yeah, for me, it's it's great. And uh, sana all cars will have that. But yeah, I love it. It's so easy to drive, guys. Sobrang, I think this is one of the easiest. Um, pickups in this segment to drive just because of this electric uh, power steering yung EPS nya 
uh, I don't know with the new Mitsubishi Triton kung electronic power steering ang ano ang steering niya or still hydraulic but uh, si Andrea who loves driving this car uh, because of the steering talaga ang gaan niya guys compared to the traditional um, you know the hydraulic power steering and slowly nawawala na yung hydraulic power steering eh. I think uh, more of pickups ng trucks but all the vans all the cars that you see nowadays are all electronic power steering and I guess it's um, I don't know the cost of it to replace but I'm sure you know the more that the cars have it the you know the cheaper it gets like in any new technology diba? but yeah it's been good medyo traffic lang guys so I like it kahit traffic you don't feel like you're driving a big car I mean it's a pretty big car it's wide and long but at the same time um, yun guys yung mga taxi na hindi nagsisignal light yan, hindi nagtata hindi nagsisignal light hindi marunong mag signal light sana naman di ba you, you put a signal light in the car to use to signal but they don't they just want to make sing it but ganun talaga sa Pilipinas yan, yun yung taxi taxi famous taxis uh, but not all taxi drivers are like that uh, I've but I never ridden I think a taxi more of Grab and Uber before and okay naman sila they do drive properly hindi naman magulo uh, but yeah a lot of people complain about the local taxis also because they charge high but anyway on to the subject of the car like I said ang laki ng screen oh. so pag nag waste ka which everybody uses nowadays especially when they have long trips uh, ang ganda malaki yung screen tapos touch screen sa but sa mas that's not touch screen and the reason for that also, maybe, yeah, that's one safety. Second, malayo yung screen sa dashboard. Medyo it's all at the back. This one, you could reach it. Eh. So that's also the purpose of that. So yun, do knob. Dito naman touch screen. Uh, I do use sometimes yung sport nito kapag sa highway. Kapag medyo gusto ko konting, you know, a little bit more speed. Uh, holds the RPM. Uh, and pag traffic naman you could put it in eco which is good also to save a little on fuel I guess right but I'm thank god guys wala tong ano uh, I stop or like in Mazda I stop or start stop ng ibang cars because I don't like I don't like that feature at all especially in the Philippines guys na terrible talaga kung meron start stop uh, function kasi it will drain your battery faster because you keep on starting the car, especially here traffic, guys. Uh, it's not good to have for me. Ah, I, I think it's really not advisable to have start stop in a car. But the nice thing, naman with it, you could always um, you could always pano ba? stop the car uh, uh, off it permanently. No, not permanently. Actually, guys, every time you start the car, you have to press the button to disengage the. I stop sa Mazda. Even with other cars like the Audi, yung start stop. Automatic pag start ko, yun ang unang pinipress ko, yung start stop. Off ko yan. But yeah, ganun talaga. Um, most, most German cars have it. And a lot of uh, higher end Japanese cars have start stop. But I think Lexus walang start stop eh. Sa pagkakalam ko. Which is good ah. And the new Mazdas, the CX-60 and CX-90, I'm not sure if they do, but the I remember some of their cars tinanggal nila yung start stop ng Mazda. But yung sa akin it had had it which I didn't like. So yun. I don't know where this guy is going. I think he's parking. I don't know. Anyway. Yan guys, Mazda BT15 dati oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, the new one is uh, basically from a Isuzu platform and uh yeah, I mean it's 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 a good car, but nobody buys it. I am. The Mazda B T50, for me, okay siya. As an option, meron ka pang five years free ano, service, diba? So, I'm entering uh, the village. And I'll see you in a bit. Mukhang ulan. Ito naman, guys, I changed the antenna. So, the antenna sa taas, pinalit ko. Why? Um, there's no, There's nothing wrong with this, but 
it's too long sometimes. Ano mo sa parking guys sa ground, uh, basement parking sa mga malls, uh, sa hotel. Sa specifically, I think what was the hotel that Sofitel, I think I forgot the hotel guys in Makati. Anyways, sumabit siya. Kasi medyo older building tsaka ano ba? It's an older building at the same time, at the same time mababa yung parking. So sumabit siya. Ito lang. Pero this is okay. Ayun know, if you could see parang wala naman gas gas kasi rubber naman to. But I ordered on the Zada a Ford one. Yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina na mas maikse. Parang up to here lang siya. And it, it didn't interfere with the, ano, okay siya guys, mura lang. Parang, I don't know, I think it's like 500 pesos for the Ford antenna. It, it's like chrome, like black, like chrome black or something. But okay siya, sulit, cheap, and yeah, you just unscrew it. Well, basically, tatanggali mo lang to. Ayan o, tapos yung bago, lalagay mo lang. So that was easy. And I like it, yun ya, para hindi na sumabit. Kasi sometimes guys, magugulat ka na lang na bigang sumabit yung antena na parang, oh shit, baka tumami yung roof or what. Hindi. No worry, it's really the, the antena lang. That happens to a lot of pickups, uh, SUVs and vans for the most part. Kasi some buildings, especially the old buildings guys, mababa talaga yung clearance. But anyway, like I said guys, I'm very very happy with this car. And uh, I'm sure a lot of Ford Rangers and Ford uh, Everest are gonna say the same. And uh, unfortunately, maybe there's some units na may konting defects or something. But wala pa naman ako na rinig na issues with the new ones, huh? with transmission or engine problems. Uh, this has been good. Of course, this is fairly a new car. I'm gonna update you guys every time, siguro. Every time I use it or if there's something wrong, I will let you know. But uh, you know also. But kasi case-to-case -case basis talaga ang kotse, guys. You cannot generalize a product uh, kasi things happen, di ba? Uh, sometimes it may be the owner's fault and they're not telling you the truth. Could be a defect talaga, la lemon. And yun ya, or yeah, the unit has a problem. Or it could be a lot of things, guys. Diba? So, ako personally, that's why I like doing these videos because I own these cars. And uh, I want to share to you my experience personally. And also why I chose these cars. Uh, for me, the wild truck, why? Because I wanted a comfortable pickup. I missed my Ford Explorer. And that Explorer Sport Truck, guys, the 2001, fa flash ni Alan, yung editor ko, dito sa... Uh, Ano, sa video na to na I love that car that's very comfortable it had everything I like the fact that I explore yung window sa likod guys nabubukas ito hindi pero okay lang yan but uh, yeah that's why I, I, I missed having a pickup and that's why I chose Ford again because I was so happy with the Ford Explorer of course that was a gas that was a big engine that was a 4 liter V6 ito 2 liter turbo diesel 4 cylinder so that had way more power and quieter. But torque wise, I think this has more torque. Because it's a diesel. Anyways, I haven't even used the charging dito sa ilalim. Kasi medyo tago eh. So sometimes I, I don't even know it's there. Dito na lang. It's easier, I think. Yeah, dito may 12 volt naman. Yun yan. This is the review. Again, update lang for you guys. Para if you're you know, especially December, baka may mga promo on Ford mm, discounts and stuff like that and maybe you should grab one yourself but like I said, there's a lot of competition the new uh, Mitsubishi Triton is coming out also a nice looking uh, pickup, modern um, I also like it, I think it's good I don't know if it has the auto function like I said, but it looks good guys um, in, in certain colors, like any other car but with, with with the Ranger naman, um, all the colors bagay naman eh, actually. Orange, the orange, the red, the blue, the black, the silver, and the white, and the green. And uh, yeah, so if you're gonna buy a Ford Ranger, uh, you know, talk to... Ako, I got this in Ford Makati, guys. They gave a discount of 30000 at that time. 
but baka mas malaki na yun. Sa Ford BGC, you never know. That was my the first uh, Ford Ranger Sport 4x2 that I got was in Ford BGC. Did I get a discount? Parang wala. Kasi at that time, guys, when I purchased that, sobrang ang daming nag-order ng Ranger. So, siguro that's why they weren't giving discounts. But now that medyo na-normalize yung supply, uh, mas, uh, mas, you know, it's easier to buy a um, a car on hand now. And guys, so I'm happy with this car and I hope that if ever you're gonna buy a Ford product, you'll be happy with your car as well. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye.